Description. The goal of this experiment is to calculate the initial velocity and peak height of the rocket launched vertically using the kinematics equations learned in class. The materials needed for this lab are one stop rocket set and one stopwatch. Procedure. 1. Go outside and set up the rocket launcher and rocket. Try to have the rocket aiming perfectly straight up. 2. Do a couple of practice launches. 3. When you are ready, you should time the entire flight of the rocket for each person in your group, up to three people. 4. As one student launches the rocket, another student will time the flight with a stopwatch. Remember, you need the time from when the rocket is launched to when the rocket returns to the ground. And 5. Write down each person's name and their total flight time in the data table on the next page. Please enjoy this demonstration of the lab. The timer can be seen in the light blue shirt. Data collection. Record your group's values for T total in the table provided. A sample time collection can be seen here. Calculations. Using the kinematics equations, calculate the initial velocity V0 and the maximum height y of the rocket launch. Then repeat the calculations for each of the launches. Remember to enter your results in the data table. Equations 1. The apex is the peak of the rocket's flight. Calculate the time it takes the rocket to reach its apex, which is equal to one half the total flight time. Enter this information in the data table. An example of the data table can be seen here. Three. In one-dimensional kinematics, the velocity is 0 meters per second at the apex of flight. An example of the data table can be seen here. In addition, the object is in free fall, therefore the acceleration is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. An example of the data table can be seen here. 5. To find the initial velocity of the object, we must use the first kinematics equation. A derivation of how to get the exact initial velocity can be seen above. An example of the data table can be seen here. 6. To find the maximum height of the object, we must use the third kinematics equation. A derivation of how to get the exact maximum height can be seen above. An example of a filled out data table can be seen above. Analysis questions. Analysis question 1. What is the rocket's velocity at the apex of its flight? In one-dimensional kinematics, the velocity is 0 meters per second at the apex of flight to change the direction of the object. Analysis question 2. What is the rocket's speed just before it hits the ground? Why? Use the appropriate kinematics equations to calculate your answer. The third kinematics equation bases displacement off change in velocity and acceleration. If displacement is equal to zero, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity. The application question should be answered as a class. Thank you for your participation in this online lab. See you next time.